नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग यस्टरडेज लो प्रेशर एरिया हैज कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड इनटू अ डिप्रेशन टुडे ओवर ईस्ट सेंट्रल बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड इट इज लाइकली टू बिकम अ साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम बाय टुमारो एंड सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम बाय डे आफ्टर टुमारो एंड देयर आफ्टर मूविंग नॉर्थ वेस्ट वर्स इट इज लाइकली टू मेक इट्स लैंडफॉल बिटवीन पुरी एंड सागर आइलैंड्स एज अ सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम विद मैक्सिमम सस्टेन्ड सरफेस विंड्स ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ 100 टू 110 केएमपीएच गस्टिंग टू 120 केएमपीएच अंडर एंड अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दिस एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी is likely over odisha and gangetic west bengal on 24th and 25th of october if you look into the 24 hour uh, hourly rainfall observed at 830 hours ist of today then 13 cm rainfall has been observed over uh, chitradurga district of south india karnataka 10 cm over uh, sri satyasai district of rayalseema and uh, uh, likewise 9 cm rainfall over tiruvarur of tamil nadu ratnagiri of uh, konkan and uh, over khargon of uh, west mp and uh, Seven uh, centimeter over north and middle Andaman district of Maya Andaman and Nicobar Island has been observed. So, as uh, we can see, the uh, depression today is uh, likely to uh, uh, continue to move west north westwards and uh, become a cyclonic storm by tomorrow over east central uh, Bay of Bengal and thereafter it is likely to uh, further move north westwards and uh, become a, a severe cyclonic storm by 24th of October and uh, thereafter it is likely to make its landfall between. Uh, during night of 24th and morning of 25th as a severe cyclonic storm between uh, puri and uh, uh, sagar islands as a as a severe cyclonic storm with the maximum sustained surface winds of uh, the order of 100 to 110 kmph gusting to 120 uh, kmph so under the uh, influence of this as we can see that the districts of uh, uh, odisha and uh, and gangetic west bengal and also over jharkhand uh, very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall activities likely so if If we uh, if we talk about uh, uh, Gangetic West Bengal, so uh, heavy rainfall activity is likely over uh, Gangetic uh, West Bengal today itself, and thereafter tomorrow uh, heavy rainfall activity is likely over uh, Gangetic West Bengal, the over the Odisha. And uh, although this uh, uh, heavy rainfall activity is not associated with the uh, cyclone itself, but the thunderstorm uh, created by the clouds associated with the associated with the cyclone, and thereafter the uh, actual rain. rainfall activity associated with the cyclone is going to start from 24th of october when extremely heavy rainfall activity is likely over odisha and gangetic west bengal and isolated heavy over jharkhand and uh, the same would continue on 25th of october with the very heavy rainfall activity over uh, uh, jharkhand and isolated heavy rainfall activity over north coastal andhra pradesh and on 26th also isolated heavy rainfall activity would continue now if we uh, 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 like to look into the uh, district Uh, uh, heavy rainfall activity uh, uh, warning so uh, on 24th of october uh, the districts of uh, paschim and purvi medinipur and south 24 parganas are likely to receive uh, extremely heavy rainfall activity and uh, jhargram havda north uh, 24 parganas and uh, hugli are likely to receive very heavy uh, rainfall activity on 24th of october on 25th of october uh, the districts of jhargram paschim and purvi medinipur south 24 parganas are likely to receive more than 20 cm rainfall and uh, the districts of north 24 parganas hugli bakuda and purvi are likely to receive very heavy rainfall and this uh, rainfall would be uh, constrained towards the the forenoon of 25th of october during and after the uh, after the uh, landfall of the severe cyclonic storm and then uh, on 26th of october the activity would uh, substantially re- reduced only to isolated heavy rainfall activity over jhargram paschim and purvi medinipur and then if we look into uh, heavy rainfall warning over uh, uh, odisha then uh, uh, extremely heavy rainfall activity is likely over mayurbhanj balasore bhadrak kendrapara jagatsingpur katak and jajpur on 24th of october and very heavy rainfall activity over kyonjhar dhenkanal angul nayagarh ganjam khorda and uh, puri uh, on on 24th of october and on 25th of october uh, that is uh, uh, towards the uh, landfall of the during and after the landfall of the uh, system as a severe cyclonic storm between puri and sagar island with maximum sustained gusty wind uh, maximum sustained surface winds of the order of 100 to 110 kmph gusting to 120 kmph 
uh, so extremely heavy rainfall activity is likely on 25th over Kyonjhar, Mayur, Bhanj, Balasore and Bhadrak and very heavy rainfall activity is likely over Sundargarh, Devgarh, Angul, Dhenkanal, Jajpur, Katak, Kendrapada and Jagat Singhpur and the isolated heavy rainfall activity over the adjoining districts of uh, uh, North Odisha is likely and on 26th as we can see only isolated heavy rainfall activity is likely over Sundargarh, Kyonjhar, Mayur, Bhanj and Balasore. So accordingly, the sea, over the sea area, uh, uh, today if we see over east central and adjoining west central Bay of Bengal, the uh, uh, wind speed of the order of uh, uh, 50 to 60 kmph gusting to 75 kmph is prevailing currently and uh, this is uh, uh, likely to, uh, this is likely to become, uh, this is likely to become uh, 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 50 to 60 kmph, uh, this is likely to become 60 to 70 kmph gusting to uh, 80 kmph by tomorrow uh, by tomorrow afternoon and and uh, thereafter sub, uh, subsequently uh, uh, gradually increasing this wind speed is likely to become uh, it is likely to become 90 to 100 kmph gusting to 110 kmph by uh, 24th october uh, morning and thereafter at the time of land landfall during the night of 24th and morning of 25th it this wind speed uh, would become 100 to 110 kmph gusting to 120 kmph uh, over uh, northwest Bay of Bengal along north Odisha and West Bengal coast. So uh, 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 this uh, this uh, due to this uh, 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 likely likelihood of this cyclone, uh, uh, there is uh, there is possibility of major damage to uh, kacha houses, major damage to kacha roads, and even minor damage is possible to pakka houses. And also there is a possibility of damage to communication and. Uh, uh, power lines also electricity lines also and accordingly uh, the India Meteorological Department uh, is advising uh, for fishermen to not to venture into these areas where fishermen warning has been uh, uh, mentioned and also uh, India Meteorological Department suggests uh, the uh, concerned departments to uh, to carry out judicious regulation of uh, the uh, offshore and onshore activities and also uh, the uh, judicious regulation of uh, tourism activities over the coastal areas of these regions is also advised and also the uh, riding in motor boats over these areas is uh, uh, strictly uh, being uh, uh, it is being strictly prohibited so that's all for today tomorrow we will again meet with Delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next five days thank you and goodbye